good y'all and welcome back to it again another episode of J.I. Productions it's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another video for you guys now today's video I'm gonna be answering the question as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail <sighs> Reaper is gone um, he's completely totaled you know what I'm saying I'm just waiting on the insurance to go ahead and send the total loss letter, but um, Reaver is definitely gone. Um, it sucks because I only had the car for four months and it actually sat for two months, um, as you guys know, with transmission issues um, and then just waiting on parts and all of that. Um, neither the less, you know what I'm saying, it was... It was a pretty cool experience, you know what I'm saying? It was my first time owning a Mustang, as some of you guys know. Um, a lot of people left because I bought a Mustang, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> that's kind of crazy, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? So, I know you guys um, only clicked on this video because you guys want to know what happened. So, here it is. Um, basically, we were on our way to the Northside Movements meet, and by we, I mean me, my boy back to the money and my boy versatile speed and my brother Q. You know what I'm saying? Um, we were on our way to the north side movements meet. Ended up trying to go to the first location, getting like 10 minutes away from the first location. I get a uh, DM saying that the meet was canceled. So it was like, damn, we didn't just drive all this way. Like for, for me and money, it was about, I want to say like a 40 minute drive. Uh, for my boy Q, it was an hour. For less, I think it was like 45 to 50 minutes. So it was like, we didn't drive all the way up here just to, you know what I'm saying, have to turn back because the meet got canceled, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, it was like, hell nah, we gotta find a secondary location, find another meet, something to go to, we gotta do something, you know what I'm saying? We just came all the way out here. It, let's not let it, you know, let the night be wasted type. So, we all get on our phones, you know what I'm saying? End up finding the second uh, location for the meet. They had another location. Um, it ended up being like 10 minutes away from the spot that we were at, and it was in the direction of all of our cribs. So we're like, all right, bet we're gonna hit that joint, and then we'll mess around and leave um, if that meet ends up getting shut down. So, excuse the noise. Five minutes later. But yeah, so we decided to go to the second meet. Um, on our way to the second location, you feel me? Um, we turned right onto basically kind of like a feeder road um, because there was like a beltway, not the freeway, but it was like a beltway kind of set up. Um, so we turned onto this little feeder road and it starts off as three lanes. We didn't know it goes to two, so just remember that. So I'm in the middle lane. Um, there's a couple cars in between me, Q, and Money, and then there's a couple cars in between me and uh, me and Les. So I'm in the middle lane. There's a truck riding on my left hand side, and nobody's on the right lane that's next to me. So. We're driving, then all of a sudden, like legit, all of a sudden, out of the blue, no warning, nothing. The truck gets over on me, gets into my lane, and pins my car. So I say, what the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? As most people would, you know what I'm saying? It's Houston, bro. People can't drive. I've said this so many times on this channel, even before this channel. Like, people cannot drive in Houston, bro. So dude gets over on me which ends up sending me into the right lane. Now, like I said, that right lane was empty and it was empty because that right lane was a turning lane into like a subdivision. So when bro got over on me and pinned me, my car swerved to the right. When it swerved to the right, all I see is a fat ass median on the left hand side of that lane. There's a fat ass median and then in front of it is a fat ass hill. <sighs> now, as you guys can probably already guess if you can put two and two together, he pinned me to the right lane, 
it forced my car to basically swerve and try not to hit the median but it hit the curb like one of my wheels hit the curb and my shit just fucking flew like legit my shit flew up the hill and there was like this concrete metal sign that um that said the name of the subdivision my car went straight through that shit and just stopped right there like like it was placed there or some shit it's ridiculous um so i ended up getting out of the car all of the air all of the airbags deployed the little curtain the little joints that go for your legs underneath the uh, dashboard the steering wheel like everything everything blew out bro um get out the car car is completely done uh face first into a hill like on some fluke shit it, <sighs> like i didn't see nobody stop um versatile speed ends up pulling up because like i said there was a couple cars behind me um and in between me and him so versatile speed ends up pulling up um i ended up walking away from the car just like trying to get like a second or something you know what i'm saying like <sighs> Cause it didn't feel real bro because i just bought this car you know what i'm saying so like this shit did not feel real by any means i just <sighs> so yeah i took a step away from the car man um let had asked me if i was good type shit i'm like yeah i'm straight whoop, whoop. all of a sudden you know what i'm saying it's a whole bunch of people like getting inside of my car like you feel me and like i'm on the phone with 911 type telling them what's going on like i said my car flew like above a, a hill and landed in the sign type shit so i'm at the bottom of the hill on the phone with the police that's all i hear is less screaming what the hell y'all doing type shit i look up it's a whole bunch of people like getting inside my car and looking inside the car and I'm just like, what the fuck, like, you know what I'm saying, because my camera, my wallet, my, all of my, like, miscellaneous shit, like, my AirPods, all of that shit is in the car, you feel me, so, like, thank God the camera fell, um, because it was on the passenger seat, it fell into the footwell, and was being covered by the little, I guess you could say shin airbag, it's, it was being covered by the airbags that, uh, deploy for your legs, um, you know what I'm saying? So they couldn't really see nothing in there. Um, but yeah, man, it's all bad. Um, <sighs> it's only been four months, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's like the craziest part. That's where like, frustrates me the most is that I only had the car for four months so it's like literally I had everything already on order man I had a rear seat delete I had a new radio I had the headers the wheels and the lights I had just got a forced carbon shift knob for the car um, the shift knob I can't return like there's no returns on it um, everything else has already been canceled or returned just it just sucks man because that build was about to be crazy now with that being said i'm currently waiting on the insurance to go get my car i already went to the tow yard where the card was at the car is at you know what i'm saying to go look at it y'all stay tuned for that video i'm gonna be dropping that video probably tomorrow um but yeah man i already went to go look at it I already signed the release forms and all of that my insurance is just playing games as far as going up there to go get the car um and then appraise it or whatever but the lady already told me on the phone that my car is going to be a total loss because all the airbags deployed and the car won't start you know what i'm saying so with that being said we just back on the hunt for a new build um you know what i'm saying i have had my eye on a certain car um for a little while i ain't gonna say what it is because that's gonna ruin the surprise for y'all just know if you haven't already smash that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications because 
just because I don't have a car um, doesn't mean I'm not gonna be going to car meets and stuff like that still gonna try to get out to some car meets I'm still trying to get a rental car right now enterprise has no cars on their lots which is crazy but then again it's like the holiday season you know what I'm saying everybody's flying into Houston to see their family and stuff like that so rental cars are gone <laughs> So I'm just waiting to get a rental car as of right now, and then I'll probably start popping out to some meets and stuff like that to get some content for you guys. Um, but just because this car is gone doesn't mean, you know what I'm saying, that's going to be the end of the video, the channel. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely going to get a new car. <laughs> that's that's for damn sure. You know what I'm saying? I already, like I say, I already got my eye on one car and I done found a couple good ones you know what I'm saying so with that being said I'm probably not gonna I'm probably gonna take you guys along to go to go see the cars but I'm not gonna drop the video until I get the car you see what I'm saying so y'all just make sure y'all turn on those post notifications and are subscribed to the channel so you can be notified when I upload now as far as the Reaper drop goes I think I'm still going to do it, um, it's probably just going to be limited edition, you know what I'm saying, limited pieces, just out of like tribute to Reaper, you know what I'm saying, I think that makes the most sense, <sighs> it honestly sucks bro, you know what I'm saying, like they stole my car lock out of my car, like bro, it's like just a whole bunch of like, it was just a whole bunch of bad vibes that night bro, and me and the homies are all gonna get together and shoot one video for you guys. Um, we'll upload it to each and our each and every one of our channels. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna shoot a video talking about everything that happened that night because, bro, when I say you can't make this shit up, you cannot make this shit up. Like it's been like a week now. You know what I'm saying? So I know a lot of you guys already know that we don't have our cars no more. Um, back to the money's car is totaled. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You want to know what happened to his car? Go tap in with his YouTube. I'm gonna put a car. I'm gonna put his information right there. And my boy Versatile Speed's car is gone as well, completely totaled. That didn't happen the same night. It actually happened two days later. So I'm gonna put his YouTube right here as well. If you guys want to see what happened to the cars, y'all go check out my brothers. Uh, it's a hard time right now. I'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all. But it's not the hard times that defines a person. It's how you react to those hard times. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's gonna fall, you feel me? Everybody, it's, it's, it's life, you know what I'm saying? We all gonna fall. We all gonna have our, our downhill uh, spirals. We all gonna have our ups, just like we all gonna have our downs, you know what I'm saying? But it's not about how many times you fall down or how hard you fail. It's about how many times you got back up. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, y'all best believe I'm going to get back up. Y'all have seen it here on the channel. There's been multiple accidents on this channel. Multiple times where my cars have been stripped away from me due to the, um, the negligence of Houston's drivers, man. Other people's actions, other people's... You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's ridiculous. So, don't worry about that. Like, I've been down before, you feel me? I'm gonna get back up. I'm telling y'all, I'm probably gonna have a new car before my birthday, which is February 18th. I might do, like, a, a car reveal meetup type deal. So, if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you're in the Houston area and you would like to see the car live in the flesh. Um, before the reveal and then kind of be a part of the reveal because you guys will be uh, I'll be shooting the video at the reveal You know what I'm saying? So you guys will be a part of the reveal video So I feel like that'll be something that's dope me and my homies can probably try to do all three of our cars at the same time um, But yeah, man <sighs> Reaper's gone man Reaper is gone um, I got some photos from the car um, car accident like on scene uh, I'll probably already put them up on the screen if I haven't already I'm gonna go ahead and put them up right now
yeah, man, it's gone. You know what I'm saying? And then seeing it at night in those pictures, it looks really bad. And then seeing it during the day, it looks even worse because there's so much hate and damage that, you know what I'm saying, you can't see at night and you can't see in the pictures that I didn't even see. Um, I didn't see them until I got to the tow yard. Once I got to the tow yard and the car was in the sunlight, like, you can see everything. It's it's all bad, man. You know what I'm saying? So we're just waiting on insurance right now to go ahead and send the total loss letter so that when I go to get a new car, you know what I'm saying, they're not going to be looking at it like, oh, you got, you already have one car. Why do you need another one? Whoop -de whoop Like, nah, champ. Like, this hoe's gone. You feel me? So with that being said, y'all, that's actually going to wrap it up for today's video. Um, it feels really good to pick up the camera and talk to you guys. I get asked what happened to the car and if I'm okay about 20 times a day, literally 20 times a day. So <laughs> it was just time for me to pick up the camera and talk to you guys and let you guys know what was going on. But yeah, man, that's where we at. It is what it is, man. It's a car. You feel me? I walked away. I got all my limbs. I was hella sore. You know what I'm saying? But that's about it. So I can't complain. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't feel bad for a nigga or none of that extra shit, bro. Just go ahead and turn your support up. You feel me? All of that, um, all of that, all of that, I guess, self uh, petty that you guys feel for me or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Turn that into support. You know what I'm saying? So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you're watching this video right now, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already been to the apparel um, Instagram, make sure you guys go tap in. It's on the screen right here, official underscore BYL dot shop. Y'all go tap in, you know what I'm saying? Hit that follow button, you know, shout the page out, you know what I'm saying? Grab you some merch. Get you a hoodie, a joggers, t-shirt, long sleeve, whatever you want, pullovers, all that. You know what I'm saying? That's how, you know, that's how I would I would like you guys to give me your support. You feel me? Not by you know telling me like you know you're sorry or you feel bad for me or none of that. Don't feel bad for me. Like I say, I've been down before, I'm gonna get back up. I just need you guys to turn the support up. That's all. You know what I'm saying? So, without further ado, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Go tap in with my brother's YouTube channels. They are in the description down below. And also, get your merch. It is in the description down below. But, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. This next build is going to be crazy. I'm telling you.